Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. I guess you're good at all of them. But what do you like at upside down years? <laughs> What are upside down years? Well, I'm glad you asked. Actually, we had one way back in 1881. Why is it an upside down year? Well, of course, it doesn't matter which way we look at it, it's still 1881. Here's a question for you. When did we have the last upside down year? And another question, while you're thinking about that one, when will we have the next upside down year? Now, in order to figure it out, you'll probably need to keep in mind which digits can be turned upside down. What are the upside down digits? Well, I guess you can think of uh, 1, 6, 9 and 0. When you look at a 1 upside down, it becomes a 1. A 0 is still a 0. 6 becomes a 9 and a 9 becomes a 6. You check them out. OK? Now, using those, see if you can work out the last upside down year and the next upside down year. Away you go. Let's see how you did. What was the last upside down year? Well, of course, it was 1961. You check it out. That's correct, isn't it? And the next one won't be for a long time. It won't be until after the year 6000. It'll be 6009. Right, check that one out as well. When will the one after that be? Well, it'll actually be 6119, won't it? See if you can work out all of the upside down years from then up until the year 10,000 AD. Those are upside down years. What about upside down letters? Some of the letters of the alphabet can be turned upside down as well. What are they? Well, you think about it for a while, and I'm sure you'll agree with me that uh, these are some of them. First of all, there's O. Look at that either way. Then there's I, and then there's also S and N. As well as those four, you can turn upside down H, X and Z, but we're not using them today. And then there are some of them be that become other letters. Take an M, for example, turn it upside down, and what does it become? W, of course. Right, check those out and keep them in mind and see if you can solve this little problem for me. There's a swimming pool just over there, and up until now it's been open seven days a week, but it's getting pretty dirty. And so the manager has decided to close it one day a week for cleaning. Now, he's decided to use Monday to clean it. So from now on, people won't be able to swim there on Monday. I want you to see if you can work out a sign that tells people that and it has to go on this post right here but can you write it in such a way that it doesn't matter which way we put it up it'll still say the same thing. It has to say that there'll be no more swimming from now on on Mondays. You think about that one. Well, I wonder if you solved the problem. Here's the notice that I wrote. It says, now, no swims on Monday. And of course, if we turn that upside down, it still says, now, no swims on Monday. I wonder if you had something like that. And here's another problem for you. See how many other sentences you can make up that can be reversed upside down and still mean the same thing using those letters plus the other three that I gave you, X, H, and Z. 